coming into his senior year, you know, we had a number of meetings about leadership, about what you're, what I wanted from him and, and what I thought he could give. And you didn't do that. You did so much more, so much more, more than I could have ever imagined. You were as good as any captain I've ever had. I'm so proud of you and, you know, because we're so scrutinized and at our program, a lot of people before the season and during the season would always say to you, you don't have a banner. You know, you've been at Duke and you don't have a banner. You got a banner. Before every one of our meetings on the screen, every one of our meetings, we had uh, our motto of who we were going to be. We had trophies from the past, whatever, and we, we said we were banner hunters. Thanks for leading the hunt. Our next speaker is Quinn Cook. I dreaded this day. I dreaded it. I dreaded it. Just because, I mean, it's getting close to the end. So um, I'm going to take my time, you guys. I'm going to take my time. Take my time. Um, I just you know, want to say thank you to everybody. Um, everybody program for always you know making it a family oriented place um, a lot of a lot of programs that tell you oh you know we're, we're a family we're close but you know Duke here I mean you know we take it to a whole nother level uh, I came into Duke um, you know just six foot kid with braces um, and just excited to be here and you know I, I've grown up so much I felt I've com made a complete 180 and, and that's because of my coaching staff. To my brothers, to my to my teammates, you guys have, I mean, I get all this credit for being this great leader, but you guys were so easy to lead. I mean, you guys came in so humble, especially the young guys. I can remember us getting a group chat last year, the day when UConn played Kentucky last year, and, and, and us saying, you know, that's gonna be us next year. Everybody was in the group chat, and, you know, Justice texting me, yo, whatever, whatever I need to do, make sure I do it, big bro. Uh, I'm me texting Jaleel after we lost to Mercer last year. I mean, just little things like that. Um, the famous tweet that Ty's tweeted has gone viral. He he he, he said that you know Ryan Boatwright and Shabazz Napier is are some dogs. They're great. And I tweeted him back. That's gonna be us next year, little bro. And a year later, you know, <laughs> that was us. I mean, you guys, you guys, you guys have made this year um, the best year of my life. I'm, I mean, it, it couldn't gotten any better. Um, the, the games that we won, the, the nobody giving us a chance, but but everybody in the locker room, you know, knowing that that we can do do something special. I don't want to get emotional. Y'all saw me crying all on CBS all tournament, so I'm I'm done with the crying. <laughs> I'm done crying. Cape, I'm done crying. I'm done crying. Um, and just, you know, like Coach said, we got better. We got better. Guys, you know, accepted the challenge. Guys wanted to, to get better. We prepared the right way. Um, you know, we executed and, and we believed in each other. And the bond that we had, you know, really helped. I just want to thank, thank my brothers because you guys had my back from day one. So I love y'all. Just, just thank you again. Appreciate y'all. To Coach. To, to, I mean, You've been more, more than I could imagine. You've been my father. You've been, you've been, you've been like my father. You called, you called me and my mom into a meeting last year, and you were brutally honest. But. You gave me some confidence and you, you told me that you wanted me to, to lead these guys. And my mom 
she's usually crying, but she left the meeting. Okay, we need to do this. We gotta do this. Coach said we can't do this. We gotta do that. And it worked. <laughs> that day on, I didn't want to let you down. I, I, I made it, I made it an agenda to bring it every day, to be the first one to practice, the last one to leave. I wanted to, to not let you down. I wanted to know how to let you down, man. I'll take a bullet for you. I mean, you've done, you've done more things that a, that a, that a player can ask for from a coach. And um, Miss K, you always give me a hug after the games. You always just, just just being my mom here, you know, it just means a lot. Um, I, I just feel like I'm a part of you guys' family. Um, my beautiful sister Kelsey and my mother Jana are the reasons why, you know, um, I, I, I play with so much aggression and, and, and lead the way I do because you know, that's where I get it from. And I uh, just want to say thank you guys and I love y'all. And uh, I'll be back, so uh, don't forget about me.